Hey guys, what is up? So I know it's been a little bit since I've been able to talk to you, but I wanted to um, tell you about my doctor's visit. I went back to my diabetic doctor, oh, that was really hard to say, diabetic doctor um, last Tuesday and got some really exciting news. So we went to the doctor. Well, I went to the doctor, it wasn't really we. My sister actually went with me because my husband had to work and uh, my doc doctor is in downtown Nashville. So, um, I'm not a huge fan about going by myself, but I can, um, no worries. But anyways, we went in there and he said my numbers have been really good. Um, in case I haven't told you guys since the last video, I am not wearing the sensors anymore. They still have marks on my arm and I haven't wore them in, gosh, four weeks. So ish. And, um, so I haven't been wearing them and that's okay. Um, I am pricking my finger pretty often, like maybe five or so times a day, which isn't terrible. So yeah, I've been pricking my finger and he looked at my sensor that I have and got my numbers off of it. Uh, one thing he did really want to talk about is carb counting. So I try to carb count and I know a lot of us try a lot of times and we fail at it and it's okay. Um, so he told me about a couple apps. There's my fitness pal, I believe. Big Wee, and I believe there was one more, but I can't exactly remember what it was. Um, but if you have a carb counting app, um, link it below. I know he said with all the new technologies coming out, you could just like take a picture, like say you're eating some fries or something, take a picture of what you're eating and it'll tell you around how many carbs, like it'll guess, like estimate how many carbs you're eating. So you can do the correct amount of insulin. Um, I'm still on the Traceba insulin, but I'm doing seven units every morning instead of six, which is keeping me stable throughout the day and throughout the night. I'm also on Humalog before meals. So um, I carb count with it. So say I'm eating like 40 carbs, I divide it by 20. He said, if you wanna have a splurge meal and you wanna eat 60 carbs, totally cool. Just do three units of insulin. Now he doesn't recommend like doing that all the time uh, because you know, being a diabetic, that's not really good for our bodies. But yeah, so try to um, limit, I wouldn't say limit your carbs, but like, do insulin to not necessarily cover it up, but you know, make sure you don't go high. Um, but another reason he also said about insulin is make sure you're not doing too much insulin. So say you eat like 40 carbs and you're doing like three units of insulin, there's a good chance you might get too low and that means you're eating more. So you're just constantly eating, 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 eating. So your body's just like, what the crap is happening? You know, <laughs> um, you don't need to eat that much. And he also said with Traceba, it should keep you pretty level all day. Um, if you're doing the correct amount. Now that's all what it comes down to. But anyways, so I'm also looking into the Dexcom G6. I've been in contact with them and they told me with my insurance, it'll be, um, I have to meet my deductible, which kind of sucks, but first time payment of like $570, but we can span that out over payments. Then after that, my insurance will cover 90% of it, which is pretty awesome. So it'll only be $30 as for sensors a month. So I think I'm gonna try to order that this coming week and I will definitely let you know how it goes, if I like it, if I don't like it, if um, it's great or if it's bad. I mean, I don't know. I've heard really good reviews on the G6 and I used the Freestyle Libre for gosh, like a month and I did not like the way it went because it still leaves marks on my body. But I know with the Dexcom, you can put it other places besides your arm. So I'll let you know how that goes. But also during my doctor's visit, besides counting carbs, what we really want to focus on, um, so I have been officially going to this doctor for a year now and he was like, he usually tests my A1C every three months, not three months, six months maybe, um, just to see how it's doing. Um, and if there's problems, he'll check it more often, but usually it's every six months. So he was like, let's go ahead and check it again. So he wanted to check my A1C and my thyroid levels just to make sure I'm good. He also checked like my kidney and liver levels and all that fun stuff. And so he said, I'll have the results back either today, like later tonight or tomorrow. So just look out for that email and I'll send you the results. We have an app, which is pretty awesome. And he posts like the results. I have all my information in there. I can also like email him through that so he can answer me as quickly as possible. So yeah, he sent me an email late Tuesday night, I believe. And my A1C was 5.5. Y'all, that is just like mind blowing to me. It makes me so happy because a couple of years ago, my sugar or my A1C was like almost a 10. 
So like going down to five points just with doing insulin and then watching what I'm eating and taking care of my body and not eating like a lot of sweets like I used to is like pretty incredible. So he was really happy. My thyroid levels was good. All my blood work was absolutely perfect. The only thing is my sugar when I went there was 125, which isn't bad at all. Um, but it did like red flag it because it needs to be like under 120 or below. And uh, he was like not bad at all. And guys, I did the stupid thing and I ate like a gluten-free muffin. Well, maybe a fourth of a muffin because my sister was here in town. So I ate that and then I had coffee. So it was on me. I did it to myself. Um, but uh, 125 still isn't bad. Um, my sugars lately have been really good. Um, I'm finally over the virus. <laughs> Hallelujah. So everything has been really good. I'm so glad to hear my A1C was 5.5 and you know, I'm just excited to see what else is going to happen, you know, this year or especially with my sugar, um, with insulin, keeping an eye on it as closely as possible. Um, Dexcom, I'm super pumped about that and I hope I can get it soon so we can, I can get it on my phone and keep track of my sugar all the time. But yeah, if y'all have the Dexcom G6, please, um, comment below. And let me know if you like it or not because I've, I've heard mixed reviews but most of the time they've been good reviews um yeah i'm really excited sorry i'm playing with this cord i'm really excited about trying the dexcom i'm hoping it doesn't leave marks on me if for some reason you've heard of it about it leaving marks please let me know and i'll be aware of that so i'm not like shocked like i was the libre but yeah if y'all have any questions for me um let me know if not you know i'll see you guys in my next video i hope to do a day in the life video not really a day in the life maybe a day on vacation i'm going up to see my sister this coming week we're going to a women of joys conference so i might do a video with me and my sister a day in the life checking sugar yeah i think i'll do that so yeah i'll see you guys in my next videos um please let me know about the dexcom or if you have any questions and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe bye guys